Hey guys, I got two pretty interesting uh, uh, updates for you guys on two tanks. One, we'll start with this tank. Um, not interesting, but annoying. Some Aptasia came back. You can see it right there, floating in the water. Well, not floating, but swaying in the water. There's one right there, too. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Um, there's a new mushroom colony. Well, new mushroom head going out of there. Red mushrooms have uh, come out a bit. I've yet to put anything else in here because I still have the same setup. Nah, still need to get new lights and everything. Um, one of the red unknown zoas have split up into another head. Well, made another head. And yeah, that's about it for this tank. Um, what is it? This is all running on just regular water out of the tap. You can tell by all the algae. Um, I don't know. I, I'd say it's running pretty well for the little things that it keeps going. There's a little hermit crab. And this is the little the refugio. I need to get more invertebrates in there. Okay, so let's move on to the Okay guys, this is the 125 with the red blood parrot cichlids and the three ID sharks that I put in here because the other 10 gallon was leaky. Um, here's the update really. See those little white specks? This guy right here, girl I guess, has a baby. Has babies. They're normally sterile so I'm not expecting these to hatch. Um, as you can see pretty much everywhere around that shell and these guys I just start feeding them the water is a little cloudy because I just added more water into the tank and the filter is still cleaning it up look at this guy He's just biting him away okay these guys just got fat because they got fed I didn't think they could hold up to the red parrots but they did so I guess these two are the parents right here alright that's it uh, this is Asian Fall. Subscribe, like, and spread the word.